4th of July, you guys. So we're all quarantined, but I'm still going to go visit my mom um, in a very small, small, small gathering of like her and my kids. <laughs> so I am going to put a little bit of makeup on. So I thought I would share my 4th of July easy, easy, easy makeup with you guys. All right, y'all. So we're going to keep this really simple. Um, pretty much what I've been posting recently. But I'm gonna start with the Gleam Melanie Mills um, Body Radiance, and it's actually for face and body. And my shade that I use is Peach Deluxe. You can actually use any of the shades. Um, they're just gonna give kind of a different hue. I love the way that this one looks. And I use it somewhat as like um, a primer, foundation, tint and moisturizer, all of that. About this much, and we're gonna place it all over. And it kind of is, I'm gonna my hair. It kind of is like, um, it's a moisturizer it is like a shimmer like the glow that it gives and I'll put it all over I don't really put on my eyelids only because I know I'm gonna put shadow there but I think if you have pretty good skin like I have some scarring so I will go back over those areas and I do work it in my ears so I don't see like a difference because my ears can get kind of pink and then down into my neck Okay, so we're gonna keep this super simple. So I'm going in with Y5. I'm literally just gonna use my finger. And y'all can see like how well it covers. If I were doing like serious makeup for something glamorous, I would use P2, but I want everything to look kind of, you know, just like summertime bronzy. So I'm not doing too stark of a highlight. I'm just keeping it like with my skin tone. Side. Okay, I'm lightly going to powder my lids and I'm using my fluff brush and our picture perfect loose powder in honey pot. Again, keeping it just kind of slightly bronzy. I'm going to my day to night palette and I'm just going in with seashell, which is just super simple. And it's almost just like a champagne kind of nude skin tone. It looks good on every single skin tone. And you can find all of these shadows either separately on our website at tpfcosmetics.com or they come together in this palette called our Day to Night palette, which has tons of different looks that you can create. That one is seashell. That I'm using from our Day to Night palette is Macchiato. And I'm just gonna apply that to the crease. Now I actually have a lot of space between my crease and my um, like arch of my brow. So I'm using the fluff brush, but if you have like a smaller area here, I would go in with our crease brush. And just keeping it really soft. And if you notice, like I always hold the brush where the take so it gets more in that crease for you and above it and does a lot of the blending for you rather than holding it like this, which can kind of flatten the eye. Okay, so I went in and I blended my brow bone just with a clean brush. And now I'm gonna go in with macchiato underneath my lower lash line. And I'm using my smudge brush. And this shade is also in our day to night palette. It's the same one I used in my crease. And just smudging out underneath, keeping it really soft. Next, I'm going in with our Blackout Gel Liner, and I'm using my gel liner brush. It's supposed to have that little crick. That's my favorite part. <laughs> and I'm going to go underneath my top lash line. And if you guys do not have brushes, or you don't have what you would consider really good brushes, um, I highly recommend investing and something that's gonna last you a very, very, very long time if you take good care of it. In fact, Rachel Cruz, who, if you're familiar with Dave Ramsey, um, that is his daughter, she actually posted about our brushes the other day, which was super exciting. So I'm totally out of um, makeup wipes. I need to make a Costco run, but this is just, um, actually it's a little bit of coconut oil <gasps> on a Q-tip. I was gonna say like eye makeup remover, but it's just coconut oil. And it doesn't leave too much residue because I just used a tiny bit, but it'll take off like any fallout. I'm just cleaning up underneath. Okay, so once I've cleaned up, I'm going in with Picture Perfect Foundation Y6, 
just use my fingers anywhere where the um, gleam didn't give enough coverage. Like if I have blemishes or any scarring, like a little bit of scarring on my chin, um, I'm gonna go in with basically like a little bit of a shade darker than my foundation color because once I put on the gleam, it made it a little bit darker. Here. And then, can you hear my kids screaming in the background? They're playing Beyblades. Do y'all know what that is? If you have boys, you probably know what Beyblades is. But they get like all crazy about it. Okay, so y'all can see how quickly and easily that just covered. And I'm gonna do Y5 underneath my eyes. So that does brighten it just a little bit more but a tiny bit of coverage. Like the foundation is not all over my face. We're just going with the gleam. Okay, so next I am going back in with the Y5 and we're gonna work it pretty much just in this area. Like I'm not really caring much about like the whole triangle and making it super highlighted. We just wanna cover those dark circles. I mean, y'all can see the difference already. Kind of concentrating it there. And then like I get a little pink around my nose. I did put a little bit of the Y6 there, but I might go over it just a tiny bit in the Y5 too. And that's like the only place. I'm not doing like a full on highlight or anything like that. Okay, so I am going in with a red lip today, um, but I'm gonna use Ruby slippers on my cheeks. Um, I do feel like my nose is still a little bit pink too. So I might actually put a little bit more of the gleam on there. So nothing's really been powdered yet except for my lids before the shadow. I want everything super dewy and then we'll go back in and add powder just where needed at the end. But we want any creams that I'm putting on just to blend really well, including the lipstick that we're using for blush. But look how just like flushed and natural that looks. I love it. And that's our Ruby Slippers lipstick. I'm gonna get some brows. So I'm gonna comb them through first. Combine their shape just a little more. And then, here's my brow brush. All right. I'm going in with Morning Fog and my liner brow brush. And if you haven't noticed on my stories lately, I've been asking a lot of questions about if you guys would want some Zoom classes, like really specific classes, what um, would y'all want them on? And tons of people said brows, um, which I love because that's like my favorite thing to teach. Um, like really specifically how each person's brow should be shaped for their face, all of that. So that is going to be one of the first Zoom classes that I launch. Um, they should be coming up and what color you should use, um, all that good stuff. So hopefully you guys are interested and let me know if you're interested in the other courses as well. Okay, so I have on my brows. I'm literally just taking a little spoolie, spraying it with some hairspray. And we're going to comb these up. You can use brow gel. Um, this is just handy for me and I don't have to buy brow gel because it does the exact same thing. But I like a really bushy brow, especially in summer. I just feel like it looks really fresh. So that's what we're doing. Okay, so I added my mascara and I'm actually going to go back with a little bit more of the Peach Deluxe. My nose looks a little bit pink. And plus I love the highlight there especially for summer. So before I go powdering anything, we're gonna give it a little extra highlight. And then across the cheekbones. And then we'll go in with powder. Okay, so any areas that I don't want shiny, I'm gonna go in with our Honey Pot Loose Powder. And um, a, a lot of you guys, when I was asking about Zoom courses and what you'd wanna see, I think maybe like seven or eight people mentioned um, creasing under the eyes is something that really bothers them like with concealer and the way that I combat that because I don't think I need to do like a whole course on that <laughs> is make sure right before um, like I set my foundation under here I make sure there's no little lines and then I take a flat foundation brush really press the powder in really 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 well 
and really press it in there. That way it's already kind of settled into anything and it can't find its way into fine lines later because it's really kind of pressed into the skin already. So that's my little trick for that. Okay, as far as powder goes for the rest of my face, I'm using very little and I'm really just pressing it in with a foundation brush anywhere that I don't want to be shiny. So like the center of my forehead, the sides of my nose, and my chin. Okay guys, so here comes the firecrackers. <laughs> um, for a red lip or a dark lip, I always apply my lip liner first over the entire lip. And this one is flame. And as you see, I like to overlay them just a little bit. And fill it in. Kind of press them together. Okay, so here's what I do for long lasting lips. Once I have my liner on, I wanna press in the pigment really well. I'll go back again. Press again. And then today I'm going in with Russian lipstick. I always recommend using a lip brush if you're doing a darker color. So you can get really precise. I'm kind of digging just the liner too. Press them together. And then I'm blotting with like one ply of either toilet paper or tissue. And I'm gonna apply it one more time. My final little trick. that will give you super long lasting red lips. So it kind of mats it down and cause it's one ply, the powder will go through it, giving you like a really pretty, pretty red matte lip. That's it. Thank y'all so much for watching my firecracker look for 4th of July where we are all social distancing, but hey, it's okay. Speaking of that though, we're gonna be doing lots of Zoom classes coming up. Um, send me your ideas of things you struggle with. My favorite thing is teaching. And so I can't think of a better way to just get, you know, to reach so many more people on such a more personal level where I can kind of look at everyone's face and just determine like what is gonna work best for each person. Obviously, I still do a lot of teaching on here, but I think it's gonna be a lot more intense um, as far as I want you to really be able to grasp the concepts, not just understand them, but transform you with them. So again, y'all give me your ideas and let me know what you think. Bye.